talk about J.P. Mason because the fact that I I really think that Jordan Mason is the best running back on the team. No disrespect to Jeff Wilson Jr. Uh, He's a good running back, but he already looks gassed. They used him a lot the last month. He had nothing in the tank in Atlanta. Uh, They better be careful with him and and not get him injured as well. Jordan Mason has fresh legs, a a full tank of gas. He's 225, and the one carry he got, he casually gained seven yards. He was really good in the preseason. Whenever they get around to putting him on the field, I do think this team could take off. This offense could actually get it together. He's not on the field because they don't trust him. But, like, hey, guys, what's the worst that could happen? I don't know. Maybe he fumbled deep in his own territory and somebody scooped it up and ran it in for a touchdown. Thank is, you. Oh, is that thank the worst? you. So well put. Is yeah, what's he going to do? Yeah, I mean, what can we dream up something worse than that? Or, I mean, or on third and one, he's going to get stuffed for a one-yard loss like Tevin Coleman? Like, sure, Jeff Wilson Jr. and Tevin Coleman know your scheme, but your job as the coach is to play the best players, not to play the most knowledgeable players. It's not a. It's not an SAT class. It's I football. Mean, it and, they must feel, okay, all I got to say is they must feel like he cannot protect Jimmy. It's got to be about the protection of Jimmy. If it's about anything besides the protection of Jimmy, I don't get it. I don't get it because this kid's big and fast. He runs hard. He runs probably as hard as Jeff Wilson, but he's 240 pounds. He may, they may feel, you know what? Here's the other thing. Um, I haven't seen every practice. Maybe they feel like, you know, if he takes a big pie, he runs a little bit upright. Jordan Mason, he does. Maybe they feel like if he takes a big pop, he's coughing it up. Uh, he's going to put the ball on the carpet, and they can't trust it. But guess what? Jeff Wilson just did that too. So take a shot on this kid, and I agree with you. I like Jeff Wilson, but I think Jeff Wilson's been used a ton, and I think they need to sp- – it's a long year, and they, I think they need to spot him a little bit, and I'd like to see M- Mason in there. I mean, the other thing is they're very uh, – they don't just give out these, you know, active on game day spots for nothing – you know, if you're active, you got to play. Well, this guy's been active and he hasn't played. So let's 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 see him play a little bit. That would be my feeling. I want to see him play. I like the way he looked in college. I like the way he looked in the preseason. Um, I know he could make a big negative play. I'm willing to take that chance. I also feel like Kyle just doesn't play rookies unless he has to, or their name is Nick Bosa. I mean, he played Elijah Mitchell last year, but he had to. Remember, Moster was hurt. Jeff Wilson was hurt. He had no options. Trey Sermon was terrible. This year, he has two veterans that he can play at running back, so he's going to do that. Last year, he played Mohamed Sanu over Jawan Jennings for half a year for no reason. I mean, there was clear who was better uh, between those two, but he played Sanu for half a year. Kyle does this. It's too bad. Whose call is it, by the way? Because I always get the sense with the running backs that it's like not Kyle's call. Like it's like Bobby Turner's call. Is yeah, that, well, you, I mean, is if Bobby Kyle Turner is delegating that kind of power, who's, if who's Kyle is delegating? If Kyle is delegating that, that decision, that's a problem. He's the head coach. He decided to delegate that decision. He decided to not make that decision. It's his call. He's the head coach. Overrule someone. It's your team. I don't want to hear Kyle delegating that, saying, hey, it's not up to me. Everything's up to you. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, I Everything's would up like to you. I like to know the dynamics there, though, because it, I get the sense from just being around that thing a little bit that, that you know, you got Anthony Lynn, you got Bobby Turner, and you got you got Kyle, and Bobby Turner's got the most experience. And every time I hear people talking about this position that sound like they're talking with some level of authority, they always make references to Bobby T, like he, like he's the gatekeeper to the to the carries, and maybe he is. You know, maybe but the same is. thing happens at wide receiver. You know, like Danny Gray's buried for no reason. You know, hasn't even gotten an opportunity. He's the he's the J.P. Mason of the wide receiver room. I, right. I, th- I think it's a it's a it's an overriding theme with the off with the team. Talanoa they're, didn't play they're last year. They're trusting Burford. I mean, they, they they're trusting Burford at right guard. Why they not? benched him really. They benched him as soon as Brunskill got healthy, and then yeah. Burford's back out there now because because McGlinchey's hurt. But as soon as Brunskill was in football shape, they were like Spencer. Thank you for your effort. Now you're on the bench. They right. didn't trust Banks last year. Banks looks pretty good this year. Like they didn't trust Talanoa last year. He looks phenomenal this year. They're just a little scared. The, Kyle is conservative. He comes across as, "Hey, I'm 41. I'm hip. I wear Kanye West shoes." But I'm all, "Hey, Kanye is pretty conservative too. Maybe that was to tell the whole time. I don't know. I don't know." <laughs> 